Good morning, everybody. It's Stas here. Welcome back to another video. So in this morning's video, we're going to quickly take a look at what the stock market futures are looking like. We're going to hop into the Safari tab, and then we're going to be talking about two ETFs that I'm looking to trade today that are really going according to my plan from yesterday's video. So without further ado, guys, let's talk about what is going on right now with about 32 minutes left to market open. Let me quickly refresh this so we can see where the U.S. stock market futures are right now. The S&P 500 is down about $4.25, down about 0.15%. The NASDAQ composite down about $17.25, down about 0.23%. And the Dow Jones right now is down about $34, roughly down about um, you know 0.13%. And for those of you guys that were actually paying attention to the futures yesterday and last night, we actually saw the S&P down about like 15 points at one point. The Dow was down about like 130. The NASDAQ was something down like about 40, 50 points. They were all down around 0.5%. And then we've seen the slight climb through the night up until now, which is a little bit... um. You know, pointing to us potentially here opening green and potentially running. And we can see exactly what I'm talking about here on the NASDAQ, right? We can see yesterday on the 24th, the futures opened. You know, uh, was this yesterday? Yeah, it was yesterday. The futures opened. They slowly started to come down here at around 9 p.m. Eastern Standard. And then we slowly flatlined a bit. We dipped down to about 72.90 in the NASDAQ. And from about 5 a.m. Eastern Standard, Standard, we've slowly been climbing back up higher lows higher highs and now we're pushing all the way up to the 7360 level so based on you know this reverse to the upside we're kind of seeing a cup uh, you know a cup pattern forming here this leads me to, to believe that we could be pushing green here this morning. And, the, and a really a key thing to be looking for in terms of the NASDAQ and really the entire, uh, we'll talk about the S&P very quickly after this, is to see whether or not we're going to break you know, the $7,300 and uh, $75 resistance here, guys, because we're trading a, a slightly below this level. If we do end up breaking that level in the NASDAQ, we could be pushing green today, um, you know, for the rest, uh, you know, for the first half of the day, maybe for the first hour, two hours of the trading day. That very well, um, you know, could happen here. Uh, you know, in terms of the NASDAQ composite and what I'm watching for the S&P 500. We all, we all know this, at least for those that watched my video yesterday, is I'm watching to see are we going to maintain the $2,800 level support, very critical here, as well as the 50 simple moving average support. And we can see if we hop back here, the S&P is down about five points right now, which is pushing it down a bit below this level. We're probably at around $2,795 as of right now so that is a level to keep an eye on if we break this level we could be selling off to the next um, support here which in this case is going to be at around 7336 we can definitely de definitely fill that gap to the downside in my eyes but if we do end up holding this at the open let's say we do end up pushing green like I did say you know we could end up breaking this resistance at about 70 or uh, 2815 rather and we could continue to push up and, and that would honestly be the continuation of the uptrend and we could expect more green if that scenario um, you know does end up playing out here so let's talk about two ETFs um, that I'm looking to trade here and I did talk about these in yesterday's video and we can start off here with gold guys gold I talked about this towards the end of yesterday's video so if you guys were not able to stick through that entire video and you missed that portion of the video I was talking about how gold was looking like it was about to break out. We saw the uh, big sell-off from 1350 down to about 1280. That was about a 60, 70 point sell-off there in terms of gold. 
And from there, we bottomed off. We started to return up. We started to, you know, reverse higher highs, higher lows. We broke the resistance of the 50 simple moving average here. We started to hold it as a support. And we saw the big pullback this past week from about 1318 down to about 1304. And this is what I was talking about in the video. We saw we actually maintained the 50 simple moving average at 1304, this support level. And it was also a higher low from the previous which tells me that gold future the futures they want to continue this uptrend push which is really good for JNUG, which is the bull ETF that we trade based on the gold futures. And now what do we see, guys? Overnight, we really solidified the bounce here. Well, we did the past couple of days, but uh, overnight... We saw the huge push out of the 180 SMA, and now it's looking like we're about to break out of the 1320 level in terms of um, the gold futures, which again is a huge, huge bullish move. And another thing I'm waiting for here is whether or not we're going to break, or really the 50 SMA is going to break the 180 SMA, which we all know is a bullish move as well. So as of now, guys, gold is looking pretty bullish in my eyes. And and let's say, you know, we do end up breaking the 1320 level. I'm going to be looking to see, are we going to maintain this level as a support to then fill up to the next level, which is going to be at around 1330 here in terms of gold. And let me just hop quick to JNUG, which again is a bull ETF. It goes up whenever gold is going up and we can see it's up pretty big right now. Pre-market hours, we saw the big gap up in the consolidation here. I definitely think if we open up here somewhere and gold continues to run, you know, this could open up a nice entry point. And I did talk about in the video yesterday that I do see possibility in JNUG running up back to 1150, 1175, maybe even back up to 12, 1250. I do definitely see that as a possibility as of right now. So the second ETF that I'm watching here, guys, and I talked about this one in yesterday's video as well, is DGAZ, D-G-A-Z, and this is an inverse ETF as well. Its inverse is U-G-A-Z, and they trade based upon natural gas, the natural gas futures, and we talked about this horizontal pattern on natural gas that we broke out of, right? We've been trading in this horizontal pattern here with support at around 277, resistance at about 290, trading up and down, up and down for really the whole month of March up till now, and for a little bit towards the end of February. And then I was talking to you guys about a couple scenarios here. If we were to break out of the resistance here a couple of weeks back when I was saying this really about a week ago, that was going to be a bullish move for natural gas if we can look back here. And that would be, you know, a good idea to get into you gas. But I also said if we were to sell off, test the support and then break that support, that was going to be a bearish move in natural gas, thus making D gas a really good play and what did we see guys well we saw exactly that right we broke the support now which is opening my eyes to a trade today in d gas this is really really attractive in my eyes because we broke the support and now we're getting rejected by the 50 simple moving average or continuing to push down this this looks like it's going down guys from a technical basis right now it looks like it's going down and d gas is going to open up very nicely here. And what did I say in yesterday's video? I said the resistance is at about $98 here. And if we break out of that into the hundreds, this is a very good sign for the ETF in general. And let me just get a better view here so we can see, you know, where we could potentially be headed. So a couple of months back, we were actually at 135 for DGAS. This was after the whole reverse stock split. For those of you guys that don't remember that, I actually have a video on that. It was a couple months back. Go check it out. DGAS reverse stock split. It's on my channel. After that happened, you know, the stock price obviously went crazy or the ETF price went crazy because that's what happens, you know, after a reverse split. And now we're noticing how we're breaking out of that resistance. And we see, like I said, the levels are around 130, 120 where we were, you know, a couple of months ago. So this is very attainable in my eyes, especially if natural gas continues to sell off. That D gas can do well and 
push up even more. But one thing to notice is here the RSI is a bit overbought. So if we do end up pulling back a bit, I wouldn't be too surprised. That would actually open up a nice entry point if natural gas does end up running back up to, let's say, 275, back up to this level. And hopefully there it gets rejected again and then continues to downtrend. That would be the ultimate entry point, the best entry in my personal uh, opinion here. So those are two ETFs I'm watching this morning, guys. Really natural gas and, um, you know, the gold futures. Of course, I'm also watching TVIX, which I traded on Friday. This is a market ETF that goes up in price whenever the markets are selling off. So let's say, you know, we do aggressively sell off this morning. Let's say we do break this level here. Actually, let's take a look at the SPY because this is an ETF that tracks um, the S&P 500 very closely and we can see the pre-market movement here. So let's say, you know, we do see a, a little bit of resistance under the 180 SMA. So let's say, you know, we end up selling off aggressively here. We all know TVIX tracks the S&P 500 and we can use the SPY. You know, that would be a great, great um, potential move or are really a great sign if we do sell off here to play TVIX. And TVIX was up 20% this past Friday, we can see this move when the market sold off. If we sell off aggressively, this can happen again, which is why I'm watching this one closely. So I hope you guys enjoyed this morning's video. If you did, feel free to drop a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel if you're new, hit that notification bell if you want to be notified every time that I do make a video. I do make videos every single day, market update, trading updates, and I try to make morning videos as often as I can. So Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll catch you guys in the Discord chat. The link's down below, 100% free. I'll see you guys in there. Good luck today.